Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're going to do a bit of fault finding on the lathe. Right, as you've seen in a previous video, um, I bought this Colchester student lathe and for the life of me, I cannot get it to run. I, um, I'll show you what I've done as in fault finding um, and we'll just I have found the fault now but I wasn't going to do a video but then I thought you know what I will do a video so we'll do I'll show you what the steps that I've done to go through it all and then I'll, and then I'll show you what the fault was at the end um, I've actually took the fault out because I needed to order a new one hopefully ready for next week so so yeah I'll uh, take it off the stand and I'll go through what I've done what checks I've been doing and uh, we'll go from there happy days right we'll start off where I've where I've started so I've not got the best of light here, but I've got phase converter and the PC60 from Clark, which is sound. So I've started from there. I know this works because it's been running the other lathe, and then so I've not got the best light. I need to get. A, a decent torch to be honest so and from the box goes into into the main power supply at the back of the lake I've done all my checks there checked all my fuses checked all the connections everything and we're all right there we're all spot on so let me just get a light well it's easy phone so so yeah, checked all these, these are all spot on, I've checked in there and there's four 5 amp fuses in there, all them have been checked and that's, I'm not sure, 100% sure what that does, but that goes up to the light. I've checked everything in there and we're all right there. So what I then done is I've come round here to the back of the motor. A bit more light. I've checked all the terminals on the motor and we've got power to all of them as well. So sorted that out, that's happy days but then I've come to this now this is the emergency stop system that's on this lathe so I've gone through it all, checked and what I've come across was there's, a wee, there's two orange burnt wires there because it had a resistor on it and the resistor's blown out which I'll show you here so this little resistor has blown don't know why but two wires that were on this which were either side of it have actually burnt and melted so I'm guessing this is blown so I've ordered a new one of these and hopefully this will solve the problem but after all the fault finding 
going through all the wires, checking every single thing. This is buried right at the back of here. With this actually covered it all over. So hopefully this will sort it out. So yeah, hopefully I've ordered this little resistor. Um, let me look. It's 25 watt, 4K resistor. So hopefully I'm going to order. I might order a couple just so I've got them, just in case it happens again. I'm not sure why that's gone. I don't know, but. Um, yeah, hopefully, because this resistor um, is on a separate part of the lathe and it works and emergency stop, like you kick. So, I don't know why it's burnt out. No idea, so hopefully, get this replaced. Um, I'll replace the two little cables on there as well. And uh, hopefully will be back up and running and so ideally personally I don't think I need the actual emergency stop system on the lathe purely I think it I think it got installed purely for um, because it was in a factory and the big on health and safety you know I think it got installed for that but me being in my garage just pissing about I don't think I need it so yeah hopefully that's gonna solve the problem and uh, we'll be happy days so so yeah I just thought I'd do this quick little video just to say that I've I think I found the fault on my lathe and uh, we'll get this installed um, ready for next weekend and then hopefully we can uh, get it in place and get it cleaned up and um, I've got a tool post I need to put on um, what I've done is I bought another tool post the same as the smart and brown so at least then I can use tools from both instead of buying double of everything so yeah so yeah I need to get that installed so we can start using this Colchester student then so so yeah hopefully this is fixing it and uh, we'll be all up and running then so so yeah if you like this little video like subscribe share drop your thoughts and comments down below and I'll uh, see you in the next one cheers bye